All right, welcome to a Sunday night premiere because y'all, I, I put this in, I did a poll. Okay, let's just say it right. I did a poll and it was between this and Amber's what was going to be this week's Sunday night premiere because I do like to do Sunday night premieres. If Let me know if y'all like, why are we doing this every Sunday night? But I thought, I think they're kind of fun. What, what do you think? Anyway, let's get into it. So today we did affordable um, unique fragrances for the fall. However, I said it last week. I don't know. Whatever. Look, look at my videos. This is Lulu's world. So ain't that many videos. You can find it. You can find it. And then this week, um, we're going to do unique niche. Did I say that right? Unique niche fall fragrances, perfumes, whatever. You know, I'm, I don't know. I'm, I'm struggling right now. Okay. So anyway, let's get started. I'm talking too much. We're into a minute. Let's get it in. All right. So now we're going to do unique niche for the fall. Got it out that time. Um, there's, I could have done some more, but I really tried to pull as many that weren't repetitious of things I always that I've done before, which is kind of hard because I'm slowing down. I'm, I'm really working on slowing down on all this shopping. I don't know about y'all, but I got to get in and check. And then I was looking at stuff, and I was like, you know, you could have did this. You could no regrets really about how I spent my money because I enjoyed it but now I want to shift some things and get it do some other things with money so I gotta be more mindful and so my content will reflect being a little more creative with, with the things I have um, less buying less more being creative don't don't I'm still gonna buy but I'm just gonna I'm, I'm not going to be as frenzied so I have a plan if y'all want to hit a plan I'll tell you about it later not in this video though all right so let's get started so we're talking about unique fall fragrances you know they got to have a little deepness to them they got a s-o-t-h we know we know stunts on the holes all times that's that's what we live for we live to stunt on the holes right I know I do do y'all okay so let's go with the first one. I've got I've got my phone open because there's so many notes on some of these. I just got to keep up with them. This is Marema by Marema by Tiziana Terenzi. Now I got this in a royalty sense. Tried it on, fell in love with it. What they say about this is that it's a it's very similar to Black Orchid, which I could see. But for the people who don't know me and they're new, I don't like Black Orchid because there's a note in there that smells like baby aspirin to me that note is not in here however this thing is chock full of notes so it's an oud but it doesn't have rose and i am living for non rose ouds there will be a video coming soon but what it has and it has oud it has honey it has ylang ylang jasmine cumin sandalwood it has a whole lot in it but really, I love the honey note in it. So it gives this, this right deep sweetness. Honey has been my thing lately. So it has this really beautiful, sweet, deep depths and richness to it. And has that sexiness of black orchid. Because I know people think black orchid is sexy as all hell. I think it smells like baby aspirin. So it has that sexiness that everyone talks about in, in reference to black orchid. But it's sweeter it's richer it lasts longer on the skin that's why i love marama all right next up is this this is caltech night by the attar collection now now let's just talk about this bottle the bottle first is stunning you know we love that word in youtube land stunning but this bottle is just freaking gorgeous i love the whole thing about it it's it's got that middle eastern vibe it's got that whole aesthetic but it's not so over the top that it gets tacky because sometimes things can get a little tacky this is just it's very refined it's very sophisticated but let's talk about the fragrance y'all okay so let's talk about this fragrance baby this is so good this is cherry apple and cinnamon 
so it has this kind of if you smell rosé all day it's kind of in that vibe you know the cherry is just perfection and then the cinnamon gives it that sweet spiciness and the apple this is like a pastry you know a cherry pastry that's done well not too much it is i love it on the skin because sometimes things like this can go a little too much can go a little too far this is perfect it has a little sandalwood in i'm sorry it has a little white musk in it to um it has patchouli and white musk to to balance out the fruitiness and that spiciness so yeah this is mm, cow tat night is i i, I love it first sniff i think i need to do a love it first sniff do i need to do one i think i do all right so this is cherry on top we're gonna keep with the cherry for a minute this is cherry on top by rihanna not rihanna rihanna first off i really don't like the style of the bottles i don't think they're that cute but let's just talk about this this is another obviously cherry but this is cherry and it is sweet it has caramel it has vanilla but what it has in it is suede. So as it dries down, it gets this kind of leathery vibe to it. Not too much because, you know, suede is a much softer leather. So it's got that soft leather vibe to it. Mm, it's got a little chestnut. It's got a little nuttiness to it. This is really pretty on the skin. It lasts long. Um, it just feels like a, um, a good cherry drink. You know, like how you could have a good cherry in the fall time you could have like a cherry drink that's what it feels like it's like caramel it's vanilla with the little drop of cherry that's just takes over so it's it's another one that kind of vibes like you know a dessert but not it's more like a cherry drink to me because that suede gives it a little bit of edge it gives it a little roughness a little smooth roughness because it's not as strong as leather i hope that made sense but yeah it's something about it that i really like but it's like you really can't pinpoint it and say oh it's this type of fragrance but i do Ooh, it smells so good it okay here's my next cherry and i know y'all tired of hearing me talk about this brand you tired of talk me talking about him but i'm sorry um i i am low-key obsessed low-key obsessed this is edolin by dreamhouse akirio this has cherry wine in it it has it has cherries it has red wine it has cognac in it it has cappuccino a little panna cotta this and a little tobacco in it oh man this is a very complex fragrance but it is it's very oh it's you smell the cherry right off but it's a boozy cherry from the red wine and the cognac and then you get the tobacco in it so it has it it kind of smells like almost like you know how you smell cherry tobacco like for pipes it has like an undercurrent of that cherry tobacco from pipes which i have always loved the smell of but it also has the panna cotta and and everything that gives it this sweetness that's wearable if you smoke if you do hookah if you've ever done a cherry hookah i forget the name of them i used to do with my friends it vibes like this because there's a, a sort of kind of wetness to it that 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 um shisha tobacco vibe and then it's got the booze in it so it's like if you took shisha and threw a little cognac in it and then smoked it and it was in the air and it had this very plush kind of swanky vibe to it very you know just we are vibing and talking and drinking red wine and smoking hookah yeah that's what you don't want does for me since I'm already on him, let me just go into the next one. This is Chaconyak. Chocolate, Cognac, Yelan, Yelan. That's all I have to say. The chocolate and Cognac is so rich and captivating in the beginning. And then as it dries down, you get this, this um, thread of Yelan, Yelan going through it. And let me tell you, the, the thread of it, it, it's like a pure, almost 
um, Yalan Yalan. So you have this Yalan Yalan. You still get this chocolatey vibe. So it's like a chocolate Yalan Yalan. Now those two things are aphrodisiacs. Yalan Yalan is an is a pheromone. Chocolate is an aphrodisiac. The cognac. This is just this is made. And I'm going to tell you what, I would love to smell this on a man. Because I swear, I would be like all hugged up on him. Just like he could say anything. And I could, and I wouldn't even hear, but I'd agree to anything at that point. Because he would be smelling so damn sexy to me. And on me, this is not necessarily sexy for me. No, but this is like real chill. This is like just chilling at the house. You know, want to have a little, you know, just listening to some jazz. You know, vibing on just hanging out and just relaxing on a Sunday. Nothing major, but just relaxing. Maybe have me some truffle butter popcorn and just be like chilling. Maybe watching something interesting and having a deep conversation, you know, just having a conversation, kicking it in Chaconia. Woo, that went a long time, didn't it? I gotta stop talking so much. Okay, next up is if you kind of want to try Love Don't Be Shy, I'm going to give you this one, but, but it's a little too expensive. I'm going to give you this one. This is Perdizion by No Bill 1942. This, I think this is the same size bottle. This might be 75 mil. I can't remember. But anyway, this is very much like Love Don't Be Shy. It's got the orange blossom. It's got the sweetness, but it's not as sweet. The thing about Love Don't Be Shy, because I've actually sold my my um, Love Don't Be Shy, it was just a little too sweet. It was The marshmallow was just a little too much for me. It was just a little too sweet. This is very similar to it, but it, it tempers that sweetness. So you get that whole, you know, sexy orange blossom kind of vibe, very alluring, but it's just not a sugary sweet. So if you don't want that sugar sweet, this is for you. So I pulled out one Montal for you. And this is Moon Oud. This is a rose oud, but really what it is, is a leather oud. The leather is so strong. It does have that synthetic key Montal oud vibe. It has that, that, so this isn't for everybody. You gotta be able to wear that Montal strong in your face oud. But what it does have is this leather note, baby, the rose and leather. It's more about the leather, less about the rose. So if you want something that's a little tough, want a little something with a little edge to it, yeah, this is it. Moon Oud by, uh, what's this called? Montal. Ooh, I f almost forgot. So now next up, let's talk about this. I'm trying to get through some that I only got a few. This one... I'm going with this pom-pom. Y'all know I could have pulled out the whole range. But we're going to go with Tenu de Soiree. Tenu de Soiree. Did I say it right? I hope I did. Let me see. Okay, so this is for my iris lovers. It's powdery. It's got that powdery iris vibe. First off, okay, we know the bottle. I didn't even, I honestly, just being real with y'all, I didn't care what it smelled like. I wanted the bottle to fin fill it, finish my collection. <laughs> Cause look at that pom pom. Anyway, it's it's got a fruitiness to it. It's got a black currant and bergamot, so it's got a little juiciness in the beginning. But that iris is so beautiful. So it's got it's got iris, it's got a little rose, it's got jasmine. But the iris gives it that powdery elegance. You know, this is an elegant. Aniko Tom makes very elegant fragrances. This is very elegant. This is very high brow. Now, but what happens is as it dries down, it has a sweetness from some caramel and a little leather. You hear me? Caramel and leather. Caramel and leather. So it gives it a sweetness, but then it gives it enough edginess to make it, you know, give it this well-bred, elegant vibe. Dare I say sophisticated? Sophisticated. But yeah, anyway, this is Tenue, Tenue de, de Soiree by Anique Goutal. Like I said, if, if you, you have to like an iris though because it has that powdery iris vibe. And like I said recently, I have really fallen in love with iris. So it's Tenue de, de Soiree. Did I say that right? Whew, that was hard. That was hard. Okay, I got a couple of McCallus for you all. So let's talk about McCallus. These are two ouds. And I love them because... As I said, just re just as I was saying, I really 
I'm trying to get away from just the rose oud. Don't get me wrong. I will grab a rose oud and there's a couple, there's at least one, a couple in here. But I want to have some variety in it because you kind of get caught up in having a bunch of rose ouds, right? Now this one, oud gourmet. This one is, <laughs> this is a, the oud. I really like Macallus Oud. This is a very, the Oud that they use in it or how they blend it is very, it is very, um, it's very well blended. It's very mild. It has a mildness to it. It's not too much. It's not too skanky. It's, it's just perfect, especially for somebody who's just getting into Oud. As a, as a woman, if you like feminine fragrances, it's not too much oud to make you feel like, oh, it's off-putting. It's just the perfect amount of oud to work. This is oud gourmet. Oud gourmet is like, it's got honey in it. It's the sweet one. It is a gourmet. It is like a gourmand oud. Never had, I don't have anything like this. This is the only one I have like this. So it's got marzipan and honey in it. It's got a little amber, nutmeg. So it has a spiciness to it. So what happens is the oud is pretty strong in here in the beginning. You get the sweetness from like the marzipan and the honey. And as it dries down, that amber kicks in. And so you have this really beautiful, sweet um, oud. But it's not sugar sweet. It's just like that perfect perfume sweet it's that ambery vibe it's that you know the it's got a little musk it's got a little sandalwood so it's really quite delightful and it is quite um it's very it, it it's so it's it's so unique it and it really is because like i said i don't have any others that are like this i don't have anything that's like oud gourmet i don't have any that's just straight up like it's a it's a gore it's a sweeter gourmandish kind of vibe and so that's why ooh, if so if you like ouds and you want something a little different that's a good one to get and i got a super inexpensive that's how i wound up getting it because it wasn't even on my my radar i ain't gonna lie then i get purchased this one which is this is night oud now this is another one by mccalla that does not have rose in it i'm telling you i'm like i be i'm kind of searching for them now but this it has a peachy note um with the ylang, ylang and a little citrus so it's got this kind of like um it's got a fruitiness to it but it's got vanilla it's just this one has the strongest oud. So the oud and night oud is the strongest of the of the three I have because I also have Royal Rose oud, which is in a similar bottle um, by McAuliffe. So this has a stronger oud. The oud is a little stronger, but mm, it just wears so beautiful on the skin. It has this um, um, kind of like you know it's got the woodiness because it's got cedar in it. It's got the oud. It's got sandalwood, but it also has this um floral because the yalang yalang is the floral in it so you got that and the fruitiness so it's like a fruity floral almost with oud with no rose you see where i'm going with this it's yeah it's very tasteful i like it for evening it's like what well, it's like it's kind of an evening fragrance but not like when you think date night evening it's more of like a casual date. It's not like romantic. I wouldn't say this is a romantic fragrance. I would say this is more of a casual hanging out with friends, you know, going to the movies, things like that. Because it has this kind of like low key kind of swankiness to it. So you kind of stand out like, um, but you're not doing too much. Like it's in, in, in spaces and times where sexy is not the vibe we're trying to give, but we're trying to give that we are, Say it with me, S O T H. Did I do too many? S O T. I did. S O T H. I don't know. You know it's three snaps. I don't know. Okay. So that is Night Hood by McCallum. That went all wrong. Let me grab this one and get this one out the way. This is by Coffee uh, Fragrances, which is still around. We know that Ganache, uh, JC is closing down Ganache, but coffee is still around. And this is my absolute favorite. I still need Aragon back though. 
because I want Aragon. I need to order that one. Okay, but anyway, this is called Just Call Me. This Now, this is sexy. It has plum in it. It has green coffee, green coffee bean extract. It has, oh my God, it has this like this perfumey vibe. This is, if you've always known ganache for literal gourmands, this is not it. This is niche. This is this is what you think of a niche. So it's got the plum in it. It's got um, the, the florals in it. It's got the green coffee extract in it. The plum does it for me, baby. This is sexy. This is date night for either sex because this is definitely unisex. This is date night. Now, for me, this would be date night like, um, you know, this would be date night with a wink. This would not be, you know, this is definitely sultry. This has a sultriness to it. It has a definite, you know, exotic kind of vibe to it. That is what this is. And that plum, I'm telling you that plum has that sourness, but it's just perfect to go with the 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 florals and the the little hint of coffee from the green coffee extract. So that is just call me. Next up is Jasmineisha by oh this is the wrong one. This is Jasmineisha by Moresk. Spicy jasmine. This has ginger and the ginger is beautiful. So this is like a spicy jasmine, but it kind of drives down with this kind of soapy vibe. You know what it is? This this comes off as a very high-end soap. You know, not not hotel necessary. This is that high end soap that you go to like Neiman to buy, and you smell it, and you're like, oh yes, I'm gonna have this. And this is you only pull it out on you know when you are feeling decadent, because there's a decadence to it. So it is a definitely gingered jasmine. I've been into this gingered, you know, spiciness. So this is my ginger jasmine. You know, like entre de rouge is my gingered tuberose this is my gingered jasmine and like i said as it dries down on you it gets a little soapy but it's like that elegant soapiness that high-end soapy that that hampton soapy you know what i'm saying that martha's vineyard soapiness so that's jasmine isha all right next up of course let's just say with moresque this is lady tuberose so these are from the secret collection. Oh, this is a it's it's a fruity, spicy tuberose. So it's got ginger on it too. The ginger isn't quite as prominent as it is in Jasmineisha. It's more about the fruity notes, and then the white florals like the jasmine that's in there. The, I'm sorry, not the jasmine. There's no jasmine. There's lily in it. A little ylang ylang. So it's got, but it's got vanilla and tonka bean as it dries down baby so it has a sweetness to it you know and it's got that vanilla and then amber and so it's kind of rosinous and it is and i love these because they take tuberose and play with it in a different way because i know people be like oh yeah i mean i'm gonna i'm just gonna try them all i see tuberose i'll be like yep let me get it because i do like to see different ways that people play with notes that i love and i love tuberose y'all notice i love tuberose so yeah this is kind of spicy with the ginger Got a little fruitiness to it, so it's a sweet, spicy, and then it's a it's a beautiful floral that dries down to a very rosinous, ambery, vanilla, sweet kind of vibe with still a, a, a hint of tuberose because tuberose just does it for me, y'all. Tuberose, tuberose does it for me. It's got this inviting nature, you know. It's kind of it has an inviting way about it because it is just so intoxicating. You know, people, you know, it draws people into you because it's like, whoa, you smell gorgeous. What is that? Is my wig all right? Okay, anyway. That is <laughs> uh, Lady Two Bros. Let's hit his, his twice the parfums because we go going through. <clears throat> nope, let's not do them first. Let's hit this one, one hit wonder. This is B. I have Super Amber too, but let's just talk about B. Baby, this is honey. This has a little rice bran in it. So I wouldn't say this is, I think this is something you need to try because it does have this kind of mm, almost cereal vibe to it. Almost like, you know, a, a, a warm cereal, 
but I like it. So it's kind of like got this honeyed up sweet ass, but it's a honeyed sweet. I like honey sweet. I don't like other types of sweets as much like sugary, cotton candy, marshmallow, burnt sugar vibes. Those can be a little too much for me. B, this is a honey. It's honeyed. It's honeyed all the way through. It ain't playing with you. Let me tell y'all some notes from it. Um, Because, you know, you have Zoologist B and now you have Ellis Brooklyn's B. So this one has, it's boozy because it's got this rum note in it. So it's like a boozy honey. Baby, what? And then spicy with, cin with the cinnamon. But like I said, it has a brand note that gives it almost like... <coughs> almost like a, a warm cereal um but yeah and then it's got vanilla it, it is it's not for everybody because i've heard some people don't like it because they say there's some there's a, a note in it that and it's it's probably the brand which i like because the brand is a little different but anyway this is b by ellis brooklyn because i've been talking too much so i gotta i gotta start rolling through these i'm looking at my time and i'm like whoo we still got some more to go how many more do i have to go Oh, I ain't got that many. Okay, we good. Let's do this one. Let's do this one. Let's do this one. We're going to go with Teo Cabanal's Alahim. Now, I still want to get, I still need to try Cafe Cabanal because I do have a sample of it. it I'm going to do that soon, but I'm waiting on it. But this is Alahim. Now, this one has a little spiciness to it from the pepper but it's like it's it's kind of spicy to me but it's really a floral it's a serious floral it's an amber floral so it's got this sweet richness to it from this amber vibe you know because it's got benzoin it's got a little um labdomen in it so it's got the and vanilla so it's got all the things that give you that amber vibe so it's got this ambery um dry down but in the beginning the pepper is really kind of strong and plays with the bergamot because there's bergamot in it. So it gives it like this. I always say it kind of gives you like a spice market kind of vibe. Like if you go into like a Middle Eastern spice market, like I go up by my, in my area, I go up to Devon, which is Little India. So I go to certain stores in there and it has this really rich, spicy smell to it. You can't pinpoint what spice it is but it has a spiciness to it. That's what Alahine has. But then it has these beautiful florals. So the florals do take over and, you know, combine with that spiciness to give you this beautiful, you know, exotic vibe to it. It's got an exoticism to it. And then as it dries down, that ambery sweetness comes out. It is very bewitching, quite, quite, um, it has a, like I said, it has a, a, a Middle Eastern vibe, but on a, you know, more Westernized Middle Eastern vibe to it. And it is really beautiful on the skin. So that is Alaheen by Teo Cabanal. Then we have, gotta have, I have one Montal. I gotta have a Mancera in the bunch, right? I'm like, who am I? I'm doing a whole video talking about stuff and I ain't pulled out a Mancera. So here's a Mancera. It took me a minute to figure out which one to use, mainly because, you know, I don't know, the big head in me, I talk about Mancera so much that I don't want to pull out some that I've already talked about, you, you know, people talk about. So here's the one I'm going with. This is Oud Orchid. Now, it honestly doesn't have any Oud in it, but, you know, Mancera likes to uh, make up names for stuff that really um like wild python that really doesn't really go with what you're getting but there is no oud in this but what it is is a beautiful floral and you got to have a nice floral the the i will say this it has it's it's fruity it has coconut in it it's got peach in it so it's kind of got this kind of like really nice fruitiness to it but even though it's got coconut it is not summertime this is definitely because this thing is now, y'all know I don't talk about diva mode and say I only spray too many. You can't spray too much of this one, honestly, because, you know, I will drown in a fragrance. But this, honestly, is one that you cannot drown in because you will, you'll, you'll, you'll choke on it. But it has, like, coconut and peach in it. It's got the orchid in it, and that is truly the only floral that they, they say is in it. So it's, it's got this beautiful floral note to it. 
and but it's but it's got a sweetness to it so it's got amber in it it's got vanilla it's got and it's got a muskiness to it so it's like a musky amber with this beautiful floral with a fruitiness to it and the fruitiness in the beginning is just really delicious on the skin but what i really like in here is the orchid the floral is so strong and it really does have a muskiness to it and i'm finding some musk that i like i never i don't necessarily love i'm not a huge musky person but this has a, a gentle musk a nice white musk that makes it quite um intriguing on the skin you know a little unique it is unique because it doesn't it, it has that floralness but it has so much going on and it, and it blends so well and it it changes on your skin that you like hey but what you really get throughout the whole thing is the the floral and that musk and so it and for some reason i really like this florally musky vibe I don't, you know, I I know I can say that I my my style has changed a little bit over time. But now let's talk about Histoise de Parfum because y'all know I love Histoise de Parfum. It's one of my favorite houses. Let's first start off with Ultra Credon. I talk about this all the time. Another spicy one, but this is a spicy orange blossom. Spicy orange blossom, y'all. It's got ginger. It's got cardamom in it. But what it does have in it, let me get you the notes for this. What Autrequidon has in it, it has like this juicy pineapple, man. So let me give y'all the for real notes from it. Um, because the notes on Fragrancica are a little off. What the Autrequidon has is, let me give it to you. It has pineapple. It's got this pineapple note in the top, but it's a deep rich pineapple it's not like summertime pineapple it's deep and rich but it also has saffron and cardamom in it so it gets spicy and orange blossom and what as i always say oh and it's got and then it's got the leather in it oh yes but here's what i would say it's start the pineapple is so deep and rich and beautiful but what happens is is as it dries down the the sweetness of the it's like it becomes like a caramelized pineapple on your skin because it's, it starts out as a like a beautiful pineapple note, but then as it sits on you, it becomes richer and deeper and more captivating on your skin. It is, it is sublime. It is just, you know, as you wear it, you're like, oh wow, it 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 morphs into this like deep grilled caramelized pineapple, filled with you know like vanilla. It, you know it's got a little leather in it so it has this like richness to it it has like a really that leather toughness to it a little depth to it from the leather because this could just be like oh this is a little fruitiness and a little you know with a little florals in it but no it is like this leather is really sings to me i didn't know i like leather as much as i do but i have really become somebody who really likes leather smoke and leather baby smoke and leather so next up is prolix prolix is the other one in this um one i still don't have the last one in this little collection that they did but baby, this is a rose oud for your ass. I told y'all I still got some rose ouds coming up. But this is rose frankincense. This one's got um, tobacco in it. Whereas that has leather. This is smoky and incense-y. This smells so good, y'all. This is, this is for somebody who really loves a unique, edgy, you know, just rose oud combination because it doesn't have that sweetness it's not super sweet it doesn't have any sweetness to it it is oud it is rose it is spices cardamom saffron it is tobacco it is incense frankincense olibanum and it is absolutely divine so that is as why as the parfums um Pro leaves. And the last one we're going to have today is going to be the last one I have by them. And this is 1890 by, um, by Histoire de Parfum. Now, you know that Histoire de Parfum is known for doing um, fragrances that um, 
And this is called La Dame de Tchaikovsky. La, 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 la. It's got a long ass name. We're just going to call it 1890. All right. But what it is, it, it's a, it has a spiciness in it. It's got pepper. It's got coriander, which which can be a little harsh for some people's noses. But really, it has, it has this floral. It's a floral, spicy floral with leather and incense. It's kind of vibes like Prolix, but this is not quite as um tough it's not quite as it's not quite as strong the the uh tobacco i'm sorry the the leather is a little more it's a little um softer the incense isn't as incensey as in prolix because prolix that incense is so freaking beautiful this one is like a little bit, it's more floral. This is like, like that one is rose, ooh. This is floral, it's jasmine, it's rose, it's orange blossom. So it's a beautiful floral with a little spiciness and the toughness of amber and incense. And as it grow, dries down, you get that amber. So as it dries down, and I remember saying this to myself the last time I talked about this, it becomes more of a incense rose. It 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 really does become like a jasmine incense rose. So if you don't like that kind of vibe, this isn't for you. But baby, mm. and then it's got a little hint of muskiness. You know, you gotta have a little muskiness, patchouli, things like that to bring down these strong ass to like ground them. And so they do have grounding notes of patchouli and musk, which as it dries down, you do get a nice, beautiful musk to it. But you really get the the jasmine the rose and that leather and that incense so as it dries down it it becomes less floral more leather incense on my skin that's what it does all right that's it for unique niche fall fragrances i think that's what i said um of course i have others but these are the ones i wanted to share with you all today Thank you all for hanging out with me in the premiere. If you make it this far and watch it on your own, I appreciate your views. Go ahead. Y'all thought I was going to have some. Y'all was waiting right now. I, I promise y'all. I know y'all was waiting for me to have like, you know, a little snarky little, little throw in. No, not every time. You know, sh the snark only comes out. You know, we can't have, it has to be random because if the snark is expected, then it's no fun. So don't, don't worry. There'll be other, um, you know, guest stars coming in. You never know who's going to come in and say something because we are all many different people. And I like to share all the faces of Lulu. All right. Thank you so much. Y'all have a great day. As always, be bold, be brave, be fearless, be free. Talk to you later.